I know it's even hard to speak such a phrase, Cherie, but get this. So we're inside the new Cicada Room, which is a brand new exhibit here at the Lloyd Library. It's a mixture of not only science, but also art as well. Now the photos you see on the wall were all taken by our local cicada expert, Dr. Gene Kritzky. Now he's not taking much time, Mike and Cherie, to look back and reflect on this year. Nope, he's already looking ahead and your own backyard may be in his sights sooner than you'd like. For weeks, it's been all about brood tent. Millions and millions of cicadas buzzing about our trees and news feeds, but Dr. Gene Kritzky says don't be fooled by that every 17 year rule. You may be done with brood 10 this year, but there's, uh, there's always another brood around the corner. Enter brood 14. Kritzky says those are due in 2025, four years from now. If you gotta pass this time, watch out. Brood 14 is our Eastern Hamilton County brood. So people have been sort of, uh, I've, been, I've received a few emails from people in, uh, in uh, um, Milford and, and Batavia saying, we didn't get any this year, just you wait, and Regans, <laughs> they'll, they'll be coming out in four years. Dr. Kritzky says some brood 14ers came out early with brood 10 this year. We asked for neighborhood specifics for brood 14. From May, Mason and the Loveland, all along the East 275 corridor area, and down and then going uh, eastwards into Brown and Claremont County. Kritzky says while geography matters, there will be a noticeable difference in the overall presence. Based on what I saw in 20 uh, in, in 2008, uh, brood 14 uh, will be locally heavy in a few places, but not as heavy as we saw over a broad of an area as we saw here with brood 10. And it's not just 2025, there's more, even before we see brood 10 rise again. And then our 13 year brood, which is only, only occurs in Brown and Claremont County, and then 10 additional counties in Northern Kentucky, that'll be up in 2027. And so we have a lot of cicada fun uh, for the next few years to come. I'm glad he's able to smile about it, Mike and Cherie. Now let's got, not get too ahead of ourselves. We are still very much in Brood 10's world. Dr. Kritzky told me that those females are laying their eggs right now and they're expected to hatch sometime between late July and early August. Though some good news for all of us, the cicadas should be gone for now by July 1st. I know it's certainly a date you want to circle on your calendars. Though if you want to see this brand new exhibit here at the Lloyd Library, that is going to be open until August 4th. Reporting live, Meredith Stutz, WLWT News.